Hi class, I just want to review really quickly how we start our weaving. After you've warped your loom, you kind of start with that string out to your right hand side and then go under and over the strings as you turn the plate. Under, over, under, over. Notice I'm doing that out towards the outside of the plate where there's lots of room for my hands to work. There's lots of room for the string to tuck under and over. And in the beginning, it's gonna be tricky because everything's squinched in the middle and you can't tell what's happening. But watch here how I add a new string. I lay the strings next to each other like two friends standing close to each other. And then I loop the strings around themselves, make a loop. And then I put them back and under and through the hole that they've made, the loop. And then you gotta pull really tightly both strings to secure that knot. This is a knot that shouldn't slip apart. If you do another kind of knot, it might slip apart as you weave because the two yarns will pull in opposite directions. So at this point, I'm gathering that thread to begin to weave and you weave with the end of the yarn and after you weave up and down a few times, you stop and you pull. So here's another example of that. I've gotten a little bit further and you can start to see the weaving happen on the loom. I'm weaving up and down and up and down, kind of like if a kid's playing at a playground. And then I stop and take a moment and check in. Is it time to pull my weaving together and then continue on? So here I am up and down, up and down about four or five times. And then I stop and look at the, the actual weaving taking place and pull it into position. This way you don't leave any big loose loops of yarn while you're weaving. And this is definitely the part of weaving that gets fun and relaxing.